Here's another vid in HC, and I apologize if that's getting kind of annoying, but I might just say it for the next few vids just because I kind of like to. Um, so here, uh, in this vid, I've got a TCBM and a BCBM. So the first, uh, I'm going to show the TCBM from 0003 Dragon 1, and I believe this is the first time I've traded all the way to Singapore. And uh, traded for a Dawn Fan Prime and a Machamp Prime. Um, I'm still looking for at least two more Machamp Primes. And um, I think I'm good on Dawn Fan Primes, but um, depending on what you're interested in, um, I'm always willing to trade for another Prime if you need like some of my hollows, rares, reverses, something like that. So, um, very trusted seller, uh, not seller, I'm sorry, uh, trader. Uh, sent them both in top loaders as well as penny sleeves and he also sent two extras which um, he also had wrapped in paper um, but I took the uh, it out just to um, obviously look at them and a, he sent two hollows a soul rock and a venomoth hollow so um, very awesome extras and uh, actually hold on there was I thought there was a note somewhere um, did I misplace the note I might have misplaced the note. I think the note said something along the lines of he didn't think the extras were very good. Um, I think the extras are very good. They're hollows. Um, hollows are always good. Um, but I don't know where to put the note, so I apologize for that. Um, make sure that's not it. Nope. Um, but either way, 0003 Dragon 1, uh, Singapore trader, and very trusted. Um, which I'm, I was actually, I'll be honest, I wasn't quite sure if he was going to send. Um, for some reason, every trader that I've dealt with that's from Singapore um, has never sent their cards. Um, luckily, they, there's been um, things that have tipped me off that makes me think that they're not going to send. Or, um, you know, I'm just at the point now where I just, um, I've traded with so many people, my reference list is so big, that I just don't send first or at the same time. Um... But yeah, so this is actually my first successful Singapore trade, so I'm pretty happy about it. And it's for two very awesome cards. Um, so yeah, there are those. And the next is a pretty awesome BCBM. Um, and this actually, I have no idea if he has a YouTube account or not. Um, he was referred to me by Kitten 87 And um, his, I won't share his email address, um, but in his email address uh, was the Roadrunner, so I'm going to call him the Roadrunner. Um, and I bought several cards off which I, off them, which I'll show you in a minute. But first off, I want to show you the extras. Um, he sent Pokemon stickers, which are really awesome. Got everything from Pikachu and Patches to some of the evolutions, um, some of your starter evolutions, so just some really cool Pokemon there. He also sent um, this poster uh, thing. Um, yeah, essentially, and it says um, the, the same on the back as the front, but here's half, and it says, Catch That Pokemon, A Beginner's Guide to Pokemon Catching. It's got the three starters. Um, this is obviously a black and white poster. Um, Nintendo DS. And I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, I thought this was just a poster, but looks like that it's supposed to be something more with school. Um, yeah, I don't know if it could be a folder or anything. So, yeah, if anyone really knows what this is for, the, the whole name, subject, teacher, period thing just kind of threw me off there for a minute. Um, but yeah, we've got a um, little information on catching basics, legendary Pokemon. Um, pretty cool. So, I thought that was a really awesome extra. And now on to the cards that I bought. I bought the rest of the cards I needed from him to complete the Snowflake promo set. Um, a lot of people don't know what the Snowflake promo set is. Um, it was essentially an advent calendar promo set that was released. Uh, now I can't remember the year. Um, but basically, from what I've seen, um, and I haven't been able to find any sealed or um, or uh, just, you know, opened or anything like that. But you got, like, a Pokemon calendar and I think some booster packs and stuff with it. But with each calendar that you bought, you would get one promo card. 
they released 24 um, of these calendars um, with 24 different um, promo cards. And essentially what they did, um, these cards, as you can, t uh, as you might be able to tell, are all from regular sets. And really the only thing that differentiates them is this little snowflake right there. Um, so yeah, 24 in the set. Um, I had... Uh, well, I think I ended up buying, um, I bought 19 from them, two of which I already had, but, uh, the ones I had were a little bit damaged. I think it was two. Um, so I bought them as well. Um, essentially the more I bought, the more I saved, um, in the long run. These, um, uh, well, assuming you can find them on eBay or anything like that, uh, sell for at least $10 a piece with the hollow one, which is a hollow Pikachu, which I um, have in another binder, which I will be showing a complete set of. Um, the hollow Pikachu goes anywhere from $15 to $20. So, um, yeah, because I bought so many, um, I was able to get them for much less than $10 each. Um, so I was pretty happy about that. So let's go ahead and um, I don't want to take them really out of the binder pages quite yet. So... We'll start it off like this. Weavile, Glaceon, Snover, and my guess would be that if um, these were put up in auction, um, some of them, like the Glaceon, just because it's an evolution, would probably go for more than $10. Weasel, Floatzel, Avomasna, Turtwig, Piplup, Chimchar, um, the starters again I would probably also expect to go a little bit more, Ryolu, Chingling, Burmy Plant Cloak, Cricketot, Munchlax, Glammeow, Happini, Gabite, Combi, and last one, a Shinx. Um, I would also like to point out, if anyone is interested in, in buying cards from him, um, I can certainly send you his email address. Um, I'm sure he wouldn't mind um, another potential sale. I just don't want to advertise in case he gets spammed or anything like that. But if you're actually interested in buying stuff from him, um, let me know. Or uh, you can talk to Kuro Kitten 87 as well, since she uh, is one that referred me to him. Um, I definitely would like to point out that... Um, the shipping in, on this uh, was amazing. As you can tell, all of them are individual, um, are in binder pages. Um, they came like that. They were also, they had a sheet of cardboard on either side and then packed in, in a very large envelope. And he also paid extra. Now, I can't guarantee you'll do this with any other trade. Um, and again, wait, I thought there was a note with this. Why am I losing the notes to these things? Um, I believe there was a note attached saying that um, he uh, paid a little bit extra to up the shipping um, just because, uh, you know, even though I paid less than $10 each because I, I bought 19 of them, the, it, was, it was still kind of a high, uh, high price um, overall. Um, overall, though, I, I think I did get um, a great deal and um, I was able to finish off the set for much less than what it's actually valued at. So um, I kind of like that. And I uh, think that's about it. Um, the two cards that I have copies of that are that have some damage to them are the Chingling and I believe the Glammeow. So if um, anyone is interested in purchasing them or trading for them, um, I can go over the damage that they have. Um, I believe Glammeow, you can't see any damage, but it's just got some, um, some, some surface wear. Um, to it, just cut some kind of warp to it, and then Chingling, there was like a little piece of tape on the back, so there's a little bit of stickiness there. Um, so that's why I got these replaced with mint cards, and as far as I can tell, all of these are definitely mint, um, or near mint mint. So pretty excited, and um, yeah, I'll be showing the complete vid soon, even though you've seen most of the vid in here. Um, but yeah, I think I've rambled on long enough, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions about this guy, um, send me a PM or a comment below. Again, um, I'm calling him the Roadrunner.